Welcome to April's Art Studio. I'm April, doing the voiceover right now. Yeah. In this video, I'm doing a painting with alcohol markers challenge. This is a challenge for me because I've never done this technique before. So you and I get to see how it goes. So I'm going to tell you a little known fact about me that only a very few people in my life know. And I am ready to share it with the world. I have always wanted my art to be in Dungeons and Dragon books, as well as Magic the Gathering cards. I'm currently in my third campaign and have yet to finish one because, you know, I'm an adult and I have adult friends and they have adult lives and responsibilities, or, you know, we have adult lives and responsibilities, but we still try. This current campaign is ran by my husband and it has the potential to be finished since he is the most reliable dungeon master we've ever had. So with that and another friend that might be getting into some fantasy trading cards, I'll let you know about that later, I got inspired to make some more fantasy art. So I googled some images of fantasy art, dragons, and fairies for inspiration, and I came across a beautiful fairy and a glorious dragon. I photoshopped the two images together, and I came up with this image, which I tweaked and color corrected the way I wanted it to. After completing the drawing, I began to color it by first going with the Sharpie marker straight on in the dragon's face and then trying to blend it with alcohol and cosplay. I tested this process on scrap paper and it turned out nice, but after doing it on the final or almost final, I decided that it was not turning out the way I wanted. So I scanned it, printed it, traced it with a tracing paper and transferred it to mixed media paper so I could try again. I'll make a separate video on how to transfer a drawing from tracing paper. This time I decided to be more delicate and paint with the alcohol markers first and then do touch it with the markers straight on. I later put in some Prismacolor pencils for more refined detail and then use a white jelly roll pen for highlight. You can use a ceramic plate or bowl or whatever you have on hand that is non-porous. Then you dip your paintbrush into the alcohol, dab it with the paper towel if it's too drippy, rub it on the laid down marker, test it on some scrap paper, preferably the same kind of paper you're using for your final drawing, to see if you need more or less pigment. And go ahead and get to painting. It turns out looking like watercolor, but since it is alcohol based, it dries a lot faster. So you need to take that into consideration. I will be using the markers I have on hand at the moment. I have a whole bunch of Sharpies. I have a skin tone collection of Windsor & Newton markers, pro brush markers, and I have only three Copic markers, Peacock Blue, Black, and the Colorless Blender. I also have Black and the Colorless Blender in the Windsor & Newton collection.
When your palette is covered in pigments you don't need anymore, just dip a paper towel in the alcohol and rub the marker smears off. Mmm, so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> I use a Prismacolor fine liner in 0 .005 for details in the eyes and the mouth, which the mouth part was a mistake. I should not have made that black on the inside. I later corrected with my white jelly roll pen and uh, markers and color pencils, which I don't know if all of those steps were necessary, but it was necessary for me to learn how to correct it and I did some kind of a job. <laughs> I hope you like it.
you made it to the end of the video. Yay! So, I'm calling this piece A Beautiful Fairy and Her Broken Dragon. You see right there, the, the horn is broken. And she's beautiful, but she's also got a booty, so that makes her beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What you think? I think it's pretty cool. Not too bad. I would. <laughs> I could work on this more. I could make the background darker, um, more contrast to this fairy, and maybe even make these feathers darker, but I spent two weeks on this. Two weeks, but just like a few minutes here and there every day and night. Uh, total time was probably about five hours total, maybe six. And uh, this, my fingers, I pretty much gave up on trying to uh, paint all of them. If you've seen my previous video, I painted seven of my nails and that meant it took me seven days to make that film that video and this one took me two weeks and I'm not painting my nails anymore I'm just gonna let chip off <laughs> whatever eh see what I do next time mm, I don't even know Ugh. Well, this was fun I hope you had fun watching and if you want me to do more videos like this where I challenge myself to do things I've never done before or if you want me to test out some products or whatever. I know this channel's new, very new, only a few videos as of posting this video. And uh, I'd really love more than three subscribers. <laughs> as of making this video, I have like three subscribers to, so far, you know. But it's brand new, you know what I'm saying? I mean, some people take like 10 years to get to even 1 million or 2 million, or, or 10 million, you know, watching does not I'm a fan. What did it take 7 years for Jazza to make 3 million? I don't know. I just want like 4 or 5, with a couple of years after that. No, that'd be cool. Anyway, subscribe, like, thumbs up, and have a fantastical... No. Have a fantasy-tastic day. Bye-bye.